Back here in college football pregame where we are gearing up for our Big Ten game of the week on CBS when Penn State faces Purdue for a 3.30 kickoff today. Very winnable game for the Nittany Lions who are 8-1 and one on the season and have a 67% chance to finish the season 11-1. And, and to get there, they have to get it done today against Purdue and they have a good chance. What is your prediction, Damian, how dominant Penn State can be today? I'm not sold that they're going to be dominant. Okay. I'm not. This should be an easy game. Should be a very winnable, convincing game. But I'm not convinced that they're going to show us that they're different than what we expect from Why? them. That James Franklin and this Penn State team is any different because they don't have any weapons. I mean, outside of Tyler Warren, who is their go-to guy? Danny hit on it earlier. If you're a team that has no offensive firepower, if your quarterback's not playing at elite level, if your running game isn't consistent week in and week out, you're not an impressive team. Now, granted, they're more impressive than Purdue. But when you look at the matchup, when you look at what Penn State brings to the table, it's incredibly average, truly. So I think they'll win this game. I think that they need to win by a margin that's close to what Ohio State put up last week against Purdue. What was it, 45, 48 to nothing? It needs to be similar in that range for us to really respect Penn State again. But if this is like a 21 to nothing or like a 24-3 mm -hmm. game, I'm still going to be looking at Penn State in the exact same glasses, the exact same yeah. frames <laughs> that I have on right now. Penn State. Average. Um, you know what? This this is a tough one for me. They okay. still have a chance to make it to the Big Ten championship game, but it's out of their control. Two losses from a hot the next three weeks. I don't see that happening. But if I'm them, I'm like I like where I'm at right now. I want to yeah. host a game in Happy Valley and in playoffs because, like Happy Valley, like the shoe, like out in Oregon, like a lot of teams down in the South and the SEC. That's a real home field advantage that you can have a team coming up from the South to play there. So mm -hmm. this game really doesn't matter too much because I think it's going to be a dominant performance mm -hmm. um, physically and talent wise. We're versus Purdue, Penn State is right where they need to be, and I rightfully so. When we talk about these strength of schedules with SMU or Miami mm -hmm. or Indiana, let's make sure we bring that same energy with Penn State. Thank you. Because their Thank strength you. of schedule <laughs> is Thank not you. fantastic. I mean, their best win, is it Illinois, who has fallen out of the time? Is it USC? No, who's 500? They don't have a really good win. They have an okay loss, but that's what they want to do. They, they hung with Ohio State, which is how they're going to compare Indiana. I'll say this, what I want to see from them, Damian mentioned, I'll give you three scores, because the teams that we're talking about in this elite stratosphere of playoff competition have already played Purdue. Notre Dame beat Purdue 66 to seven. Oregon, you mentioned them, 35 to nothing, and Ohio State was 45 to nothing. So I would like to see something in that vicinity to show, okay, you are in the same ballpark. You are the team that can go up there, show out, and dominate from start to finish. They should, mm -hmm. and I would be surprised if they don't, but show us, continue to show us. We want style points from Notre Dame and everybody mm -hmm. else. Go, give us some style points, Penn State.